Hello there guys, what is going on? Santa Chelsea back here again for another edition of Let's Talk Chelsea. Hope you're doing well and keeping safe on this Sunday. In today's episode, we're going to be reflecting a bit more on last night's brilliant winning performance against Leeds United at Stamford Bridge. Credit to Frank Lampard, credit to Mason Mount and also an injury update for Hakim Ziyech. But before we get into any of that good stuff, I want to ask you guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Also hit that like button if you're enjoying the content because they're upside the channel as well so in my rational perspective last night if you haven't seen it please go and watch it I don't feel I gave enough credit to Chelsea in terms of the dominance of the actual performance I think as a fan when you're experiencing the game I think sometimes when you're watching a game live you don't really take that into account you're just hoping the team gets through uh, but when you actually look at the stats of this game it is so impressive from a Chelsea perspective it really is we absolutely battered Bielsa's leads and it's really impressive firstly in terms of XG this from Opta Joe Chelsea his expected goals tally of 4.1 against Leeds was the highest XG for a side in a single Premier League game so far this season. Absolutely peppering Leeds goal last night. This from expected Chelsea, a great account. Please go follow. Chelsea at top of the table for points earned, goals scored, goals scored from set pieces, XG conceded, the lowest XG conceded in the Premier League so far this season, and as well, clean sheets. And we also outran them by six kilometers last night. Uh, we are the first Premier League team to do that this season against Leeds. Incredible work rate by Chelsea. And I think you need to do that against a team as unique and intense as Leeds. But all of this for me, it comes back to credit to Frank Lampard. I think he deserves it after last night. Um, I don't know if Chelsea are going to win the Premier League. How can I after 11 games of the Premier League season? One thing I can say, I think this is the most impressive Chelsea team I've seen since maybe Conte in 16-17 in terms of consistency, in terms of balance, um, in terms of uh, resilience to them as well and expressive nature up front. I think the biggest thing going into the, the, this season was sort of Lampard's biggest challenge was balancing sort of the attacking flair and freedom we saw last season with a bit more defensive resilience that we did not have last year. We've seen that so far this season and I think there were many harsh critics of Lampard in the opening weeks of the season. Some people who watch my videos who I think need to take a slice of humble pie right now because I think that, you know, Frank has definitely improved us in many aspects. Um, as I said, there's a long way to go in this season. I'm not saying that Chelsea are going to win the Premier League, but I think we are improved from last season, at least what I'm seeing right now, because there's more belief, there's more resilience. And looking at the stats of last night, we absolutely battered a very impressive lead side that a lot of teams have struggled against and I think will struggle against this season. And as well, Lampard, I was so happy to see how happy he was at the final whistle, especially that after that Pulisic goal and that celebration, a great shot on the touchline of uh, Lampard celebrating with Bielsa in shot just behind him. Uh, Frank has been pretty reserved in his pre and post match interviews about sort of there being any hostility between him and Bielsa. And I can understand it. Personally, I don't have any hostility uh, to Bielsa, basically. I think he's a fantastic coach. You see last night in many aspects how well coached Leeds are. They're a very impressive side. It's very impressive what Bielsa has done, not only in his career, how much of a pioneer he is and how much of a, an inspirational figure he is to so many top coaches. I think it's more about sort of the media criticism of Lampard. And I think there are many people last night a bit like last weekend against uh, Jose that were hoping that you know maybe Lampard would be exposed a bit against a very good coach that was not the case uh, Frank Lampard's team responded well and absolutely dominated Leeds and I don't think there'll be many teams who do that this season based on uh, the capability of this Leeds side they are very impressive um, but I also think you know tactically you know Chelsea's 4-3-3 which we we feel and, and still feel that it is sort of the best formation for Lampard at the moment was tested in that first half probably the most it's been tested in many weeks, you know, pretty much since uh, maybe the Southampton game, you know, in terms of since Lampard's uh, put in this 4-3-3, I think he's looked very stable, very balanced. But in that first half of Leeds flooding forward, you did start to feel, is, is this going to be a problem area for Chelsea? You know, Kante and, and sort of the, the whole midfield being bypassed in that first half. But you saw in that second half, Chelsea upped it and, and took control of the game and took the game away from Leeds. And once again, you need to give credit to Frank Lampard for that. Um, I think he's a very good coach in terms of a man manager. I think the way he's managing the size of this squad at the moment needs a lot of credit. The way he's reintegrated players like Olivier Giroud, who's in form at the moment. How united the squad looks at the moment. And I think they are heading in the right direction. As I say, there's a long way to go. And Lampard is absolutely right to stress that. We've got some difficult games coming up. Everton next weekend, Goodison Park, a bit like St. James's Park. 
Epoch is a very difficult ground to go to, especially with an Ancelotti side uh, this year. I think we've got Wolves coming up as well, Arsenal away, Man City. I did say uh, before the Newcastle game, this sort of stretch of 10 Premier League games were going to be quite defining in the season. The thing we can say at the moment, Chelsea have started it strongly, so hopefully that's the way it continues. Another individual I want to give credit to after last night is Mason Mount. Mason Mount was absolutely exceptional last night. I didn't give him enough credit in my review, actually, and um, he's another person at Chelsea that's proving a lot of people wrong and making his critics look very silly at the moment. I'm um, just looking at a stat here from Squawker last night. Mason Mount created seven chances against Leeds, the most by a Chelsea player in a single Premier League game this season, and this is even more staggering. No Blues player has created more in a game across the past five seasons. Now, that's with Eden Hazard at Chelsea. That's also, I'm sure, with Cesc Fabregas at Chelsea too. Um, very impressive stat by Mason Mount. I mean, Mount's imp I I've stressed in the past, I think Mason Mount's essential to Lampard's Chelsea. And many people said, you know, that's silly. How is he going to get into this team with other players coming in? I think he's proving it right now. He is essential to what Lampard wants to do. And I feel that the signings, a bit like other young players within the team, they've really sort of stepped up their game. They've seen the competition and Mount said as much in pre-season. You know, I know the level I've got to be at to be a Chelsea player consistently to earn my spot. He is earning his spot. He's one of Chelsea's best players at the moment and most important players. And anyone turning around and calling him a functional player, I think you look silly. I think you look stupid because he is a creative player as well. I think to try and limit what Mason Mount can do on a football pitch... I think he's very reductive. But as we've seen in space this season, the vision and creative play of Mason Mount is so impressive as well and is bringing so much to this Chelsea side. Uh, setting up the second from a corner for Kurt Zuma. He did the same against Burnley. Uh, Mason is excelling at the moment and it's so brilliant to see Mason, uh, a Chelsea Academy graduate, flourishing in this Chelsea first team, along with Rhys James, who I felt was an exceptional performer once again last night. I think both of them are performing so well for Lampard at the moment and it's great to see alongside the new players that have come in in the summer. Um, lastly, and I just think this is, of course, a negative of last night, Hakim Ziyech. Um, it seems to be, as Lampard confirmed in his post-match uh, press conference, it's a hamstring injury, which is what we expected. Um, hamstring injuries, usually, I mean, at most, it's a month. Uh, sometimes it can be a little bit less, but, you know, always of injuries, you want to, especially this season, you want to be careful with them. It's just such a shame as we go into such a key and hectic period of the season that we're losing such a key player for Chelsea, such a creative player. I just wonder, squad-wise, how Lampard managing it going forward. Of course, we've got the final Champions League group game on Tuesday against Krasadar. A great opportunity for Lampard to rotate his squad pretty heavily. It's going to be a chance for some of the fringe players to break into Lampard's first team in the Premier League. Let me know your thoughts on the Ziyech injury. How bad do you think it could be affecting us going into a key period over Christmas? Who do you think can benefit off it? Let me know in the comments below. But thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this episode of Let's Talk Chelsea. If you did enjoy it, hit that subscribe button and a notification bell so you never miss an upload. Follow me on Twitter at Son of Chelsea and I'll see you again.